I'm never hey, letting Dana you Cats out of fans. my sight again. Do you ever hear a story that you just can't get out of your head? Maybe it's a scene from a movie, a headline you read on the back of someone else's newspaper, or your friend's play-by-play -play of a no-good, very bad date. Well, for me, that story is the underground. Who are they? What do they want? What's infuriating is that the question is so simple, but it seems impossible to answer. They steal, hurt, kidnap, and harass. They hit businesses and crime families alike. They have next-level technology and a grudge against everyone. I'm gonna keep looking into them, and if you have a tip, please send it my way. Until next time, remember not to put your coffee grounds in the garbage disposal, or we'll clog up your drain, like real bad. Okay, bye! Hello, and welcome to Gabe's Games. Thank you so much for coming to me play through some more of Spider-Man Miles Morales today. I'm really liking this game, and finishing off with Spider-Cat last video was actually so cool. We're gonna continue this. And I just discovered how to actually Venom Boost, and that is actually the best. I'm gonna use that a lot. It reminds me of that really awesome feature in Infamous, and Infamous 2, and even Infamous Second Son, just where you glide in the air. Kinda reminds me of that, but it's Spider-Man just getting a little bit of a boost in the air. So, I'm obviously playing this game for the first time, and I'm really liking it, and I'm enjoying it, but I'm new to combat, I'm new to a few things, so... We're just gonna keep on trying to get through this game. And... I'll occasionally make mistakes, and I'll get hit, and I might not land flips perfectly, etc, but... It's just gonna be getting through this game, and getting through this game as quickly as I can. And getting through a lot of Spidey Miles Morales. This is just an absolutely awesome game. When I was recording God of War, basically, I finished the game twice before I actually started recording, so I was very confident in all of my combat abilities to get through each and every section of the game. I knew what I was expecting, and so that was not a blind playthrough. This is more or less a blind playthrough, so I'm playing this for the first time. I don't know what to expect. You'll see me figure out this game as I play it. And, I mean, obviously, every game has similar things, and every game has similar leveling up mechanics, and so if you play a lot of games, Everything makes sense, but I am going to occasionally make mistakes because recording this as the first time playing it means that it's not something that I've rehashed and replayed and not something that I can do completely smoothly the whole time. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to keep on getting through this game and I'm going to try and get through as much of it as I possibly can. Just following it still being new and fresh after its launch. And the PS5 launch. I'm playing this on the PlayStation 5, and it is so cool. Someone lost their car. White car, white snow. No, 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 that's stupid. Ah, okay, so we're gonna go and do a side quest. This must be how we actually level up in the game and go and grind to actually either upgrade suits or upgrade spidey mechanics and gadgets. Woof! <laughs> So you got to see me do this a little bit, and I reckon a whole hey bunch of gamers actually experimented with this as well. Yeah. If you don't time those flips properly, he lands in his face. That's going to be a part of our Spidey series, and I'm sure it's not going to be the last time or the only time that I actually land on my face doing flips in this game. The bee boop on my thing. Yeah, got it right here. Awesome. One lost car, soon to be found. Okay. So let's go and find this guy's car. From the key fob to find the car. Stealing a medical tech's car in the dead of winter? That's cold, man. Literally and figuratively. Honestly, the flips in this game are so cool. I'm loving the flips. Ooh, looks like it's here with all of these bad guys. There's so many of them. All right, let me take them out. We should have used that lot in Jersey, but oh no! Spider Man would never bother us, Harry! Oh man, yeah. 
That's great. So we take all of these bad guys out. I think I actually get hit a little bit here. It's like, ah, oh, no. But yeah, we just keep on going. We take the bad guys out, and it's really cool that we can actually help people track down their cars and do ordinary Spidey stuff. It's the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man that we all know and love in action, and it's really cool to actually just see how Miles is being a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Again, that Spidey attack is the coolest thing ever. Love it. We didn't get anybody there with it, but that's all right. We're going to keep on going. Ooh, so we've got the holo drones up and running. Okay, cool. They're actually so handy. I'm really, really liking using the holo drones in this game. Oh, we're being a little bit cornered here. That's alright. This attack saves the day all the time. I don't want to be the player who just uses powers to get out of tricky situations all the time because I like using Spidey's abilities, but honestly, this works so well. Big Brute, Venom Punch. Bad guys who you can't attack, slide underneath them or just use your Venom attacks. It's honestly so cool. Now I can use the fob to find the car. Where is it? Okay, we're gonna go and find the car. Louder is better. There it is. Okay, cool. Hey there. I found your car. Texting you the location. Incredible. Hey, cops finally showed up here. I'll see if they'll drive me to you. Thanks again, Spider-Man. Gonna tell everyone to use your app after I get some sleep. Glad I could help. All right, I think my work here is done. The beast truck's in trouble. A lot of people need that food. Better try to help. So I could totally do that mission, but I have a feeling it's way too far away. So let's actually swap to do a different mission. I've been afraid of a crane dropping something on me. No way am I letting one fall over. I'm just gonna try and level up my spidey a little bit. I see some bad guys. Let's go and take them out. Here we go. All right, bad guys, come at me. We got this. You are all gonna go down. I feel like that's a really handy attack to use all the time. And one thing that I've often thought about when I've been playing this game is, can I maintain my best playstyle the whole way through? And I reckon that at certain points in the game, I'm not going to be necessarily playing at 100% capacity. I reckon sometimes you just got to get through the game. And yeah, sometimes I'll get hit and sometimes I won't be playing necessarily my best, but we're going to get through it as well as we can. And obviously you try and do your best for boss fights, but if you're playing a 30 hour game, there's no way that for all of the 30 hours of that game, you're going to be 100% in your A game. Sometimes you just got to get through the game. So 
So because I've just leveled up, I am definitely going to have a look at how I can actually upgrade my Spider-Man. And after having a look at it, it seems like there's literally nothing I can do right now. Because it has a level system where it's like you can only unlock that and buy that when you're level 10. Which I don't like in terms of a leveling up system. I really like a leveling up system where you just need to save your points to get it. And then you can just buy it. I don't like being told necessarily when you're leveling up that you've got to be level 20 to actually even think about buying that. It's like, no, just let me buy stuff. I mean, a lot of leveling up systems do that but it always feels like oh damn i'm not there yet you know i'm not level 10 or level 11 or whatever so glad you asked caller without question Rockson plaza is american ingenuity at its finest green energy for the tree huggers groundbreaking new tech for wall street and jobs for the locals look we faced a terrible tragedy with last year's devil's breath crisis it's taken time to rebuild but Roxxon stepped up to the plate, invested millions creating a state-of-the-art facility in a neighborhood that... Alright, let's take these bad guys out. There's a whole bunch of them, so... We're just gonna give it a crack. Let's see how we go. That is honestly the coolest every single time. Oh, I like it. It's cool. I think he might be the last one, buddy. Robbers zero. I can't believe. Most important thing is you're okay. Wow, that is a lot of ice. Let's see what the yeah. construction works. Okay. <laughs> so this, I actually really did not find the most fascinating thing to play, and I love this game. But it was so hard to actually crack the ice. It made absolutely no sense. I spent so much time just firing R1 going, how does this ice crack? Drowsy. How can I help? <laughs> yeah, drowsy. The motor burned out and all the ice buildups thrown it off balance. Yep, that's bad, all right. I cleared the area under the crane, but it could still fall onto the street. You got to get the ice off before that happens. I'm on it. Sweet! So let's head up to the top there. Yeah, it's tricky to get up to the top and then actually firing at the ice itself just takes so much time. And like some of them break straight away and some of them don't. <laughs> uh, yeah, have a look. I'm just going to not voice over for a second and have a look at how long it takes for me to actually break some of these ice things. Once I actually get up there and I was not expecting to play something as brain complex and challenging as this when I got to this part. I was like, oh, I just want something simple. Party time? So yeah, anyway, have a look. It just says, press R1, but you can bet that pressing R1 does not work. You gotta actually fire at the right angle and aim yourself more or less at the ice, but I don't know where I'm supposed to hit, so just have a look at how long it takes for me to actually break this ice. This is why Pete gave me a C in quicker. I think that it's a mission which is really frustrating, I think, to play because you're like, break ice, break ice, break! Although, there's so much in this which is just awesome, but I find that this ice mission for me was just like, but it's not working! And I don't think I'm doing anything necessarily really wrong. Like, it looked like I was doing it right when the ice broke, and then I tried to do exactly the same thing, and the other ice didn't break. It's like, give me somewhere to aim, I don't understand. Why? Why is this stuff working? And, yeah, without trashing a game, because I think that's a ridiculous thing to do, I try to think of a game fairly and 
give honest voice to what I feel like are parts of the game to me that are just like, oh, look, I love the game, but this didn't feel right, or, oh, I love Spider-Man 2018, but I find it weird to do all of the electric boxes that you need to fire at to activate, or, oh, I love this game, but that felt really weird. I'll try and say, oh, man, the game is awesome, but this part was really weird for me, and this is one of those moments. So in that way, without being unkind to anybody who crane, made the game, because this is just my experience of it, and this whole channel is just my experience of these games, I really like the work that Incominic has put into this game, but this does feel really weird for me to play. And it's just one of those moments where you go, oh, weird. Why is the ice not breaking? Clean that ice off. Just need to get close enough. Yeah, anyway, I'm not gonna cut this at all. I'm actually just gonna let it play so that you understand what I was experiencing when I was playing this. I was like, yeah, awesome game, but why? Why? Why why? This feels so weird. Why? I'm doing the thing. What's happening? And I'm sure that there's something that I'm not quite doing exactly right, but it shouldn't be this hard to actually just break the ice. Sweet! Honestly, awesome game. I just have no idea what I did that actually made that work. I don't understand it. I don't get why it broke and why the other ones didn't break and why I fired to make it break. And having a look at it now, I think it's if you actually hit the corners, the right and the left corners, maybe that makes it break. But the game doesn't necessarily explain that. What the game says when you start this is tap R1 repeatedly and it will just break. However, I've definitely tapped R1 repeatedly, and the things have not broken. The webs will clean that ice off. Just need to get close enough. Getting close enough does not help, I promise you. I don't understand why. <laughs> Legit needed to actually fall off and come back to it. It was like, oh, okay, okay, come on. Ice first, then the crane, then party time. Usually I'm terrible at breaking the ice, but oh, that was bad. Cool, that part's done, let's do the next part. Anyone need more ice? There you go! Okay, cool! I have to admit, Spider-Man Miles Morales is growing on me. I already think that he's a better Spider-Man than Spider-Man 2018 Spider-Man. But find a good spot to I'm really, really for. liking the way that he actually interacts with the world. And I honestly feel like even the Spider-Man 2018 Spider-Man game set up Miles to be your protagonist then and there. It always has more interesting okay. stuff that happens Just to Miles to than that happens to Peter Parker. They glossed over Uncle Ben's death so quickly in Spider-Man 2018. It was like, Ben's dead. And then... An entire main section of the game is Miles Morales and his father's death. Just, you can almost see it from a planning perspective, where their attention was at. No, 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 no. And, yeah, they were definitely okay. planning Miles Morales to be an awesome Spider-Man. And he those, is a better Spider-Man for me. At this point, he's actually better to play. I also landed on my face there. <laughs> uh, Let's go and actually stop this train from being destroyed. I almost wish that Spider-Man 2018 Spider-Man was better now that I'm playing as Miles. Well, stopping the crane was only the tip of the iceberg, but... 
Okay, well, so I still think that the Spider-Man 2018 game was actually one of the best Spider-Man games ever made. I feel like they deliberately held back on Friendly design Denver, decisions that could have made Spider-Man 2018 down. better, and meant we're going to save that so for Spider-Man Miles yeah. Morales. Really Simple like things like flipping on. in the air. Spider-Man 2 on the PlayStation surprise, 2 did that. Why you know, is that only a feature in Spider-Man Miles Morales and not a feature in Spider-Man 2018 Spider-Man? Regardless, I love the game. It's just interesting from a design perspective, I think that they held back some stuff that they could have put in Spider-Man 2018 and they put it in Spider-Man Miles Morales. And it's cool to have in Spider-Man Miles Morales, but the result is, is that my brain does like a split. It goes, the same company did these two games and Spider-Man Miles Morales feels like twice the Spider-Man. Hey Molasses, up here. Fire escape's shakier than it used to be. Careful on the way up. Like two times as good. He swings better, he's more responsive, he has more powers, and his flips in the air are cooler. If you ask me who would win in a fight, Spider-Man Miles Morales or Spider-Man 2018, Spider-Man Miles Morales, 100%. The way that they've designed this makes Spider-Man Miles Morales so much better. So, this is why you wanted to meet here. Almost bailed, you took so long. Give me a hand, it's stuck. Fair enough, I'm gonna let this play. <sighs> Time capsule seen better days. You remember the combination? Yeah, it's, uh... Oh, man, it's, uh... You kidding me? Y'all gotta start remembering this code. Not always gonna be around to tell you. We'll remember, we'll remember. We'll remember, yeah, yeah, good. Now, uh, what are you gonna put inside this bad boy? Secret time capsule. Only Miles and I know. Oh. That's right. Keep it secret, keep it safe. Hey, Rick, you gonna take that job at Roxxon or what? <laughs> Why? You gonna take it if I don't? Maybe. Waiting to see the offer. Okay, competition, eh? Well, they're talking a good game. Want me to uh, <clears throat> lead their clean energy group. And you know me. Clean, clean power, power save, save the, the world! world. <laughs> I love my nerdy fan club. Oh, speak of the devil. Roxxon, back in a sec. You remember the code, right? Um... The Fibonacci sequence. Nice. Our award. I mean, our energy converter was pretty fire. Truth. You think it's still on display at the Science Center? Hope so. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. Goober Central. <laughs> Rick looking suave as ever, though. Yeah. Something going on with him? You guys fight or something? No. No fight. Finn. It's fine. Why do we really lose touch? Crap, now I'm late. I gotta go. Hey, I feel like we both have stuff we're not sharing. Next time we hang, no secrets. Okay? Yeah. Maybe. If you're on time. See you soon, short stuff. <laughs> you know I'm taller than you now, right? Not in here. <laughs> That's a cool line. Middle school graduation was bittersweet. Finn went to Midtown High. But I got into Brooklyn Visions. Said we stay in touch, but man, high school's like a whole new world. Man, it was so good to see Finn. I should find the other time capsules we hid. But a little later, I gotta get home for mom's rally. See! Good time to use this unlimited ride pass. Well, all right, I think I'll finish this video here. Thank you so much for coming to see some more of Gabe's games today. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Next, we're going to do Mum's Rally.